Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day. So today we're actually going to do another like automotive news video. It's going to be more of like a shorter video, I believe. And I just kind of wanted to share this with you guys because I was reading this Motor Trend article. I'll definitely leave a link to the website or the article that I'm talking about in this video. But the Cybertruck, which was honestly, I feel like it was going to be like delayed for at least multiple years, should actually be hitting the public within 2021. So before we get into this video, definitely be sure to subscribe if you guys haven't already. A lot of you guys are subscribed, so it would definitely help me out a lot if you just went down there, click the subscribe button, and definitely leave a like on this video. Because again, with like YouTube's algorithm or whatever, and the fact that I'm a, I'm a smaller YouTuber, uh, definitely just helps me a lot and helps the channel grow, which in turn would help me, you know, put out more and more interesting content for you guys. So anyways, that being said, as you guys can see right here, the title of this article, the first 2022 uh, Tesla Cybertruck deliveries could start this year. And pretty much in this article, Elon Musk basically made an announcement that the overall like designing, the engineering, uh, like the manufacturing end of the Cybertrucks are pretty much done. And now they're actually going into the production phase, which is very exciting. So obviously, as you guys can see in uh, this little like clip right here, I don't know why it's highlighting everything, but uh, pretty much they you know finish engineering for the model, and now all they need really is the materials, and they're going to start the production end of things. Now, obviously, they already released the I guess prototype version of this vehicle, and that was when Elon Musk infamously kind of like broke the window with the I think baseball or the rock or something and me personally I feel like that was just a, uh, like a publicity stunt to get people actually talking about the truck but maybe it was a legitimate accident I don't know now in my own opinion I, th I think these things look really ugly but again like electric vehicles they are the future there's no denying it even though a lot of us and a lot of us car enthusiasts might really not like that and again me personally I think this just looks really ugly, but I do feel like seeing this on public roads is going to be really interesting and also really cool as well because it literally looks like something out of a sci-fi movie. And as you can see right here, I believe this was maybe a prototype uh, version that was available to uh, like view in person. And another uh, thing that's a very interesting on top of us possibly seeing this Cybertruck on public roads within uh, 2021 is that Elon Musk is apparently driving and you know pushing to actually achieve full self-driving autonomy this year for all Tesla vehicles I guess or at least you know they're the new vehicles so right now I know they already have uh, you know like an autopilot mode uh, on the Tesla SUVs as well as the tes Tesla cars that are already out on the road but as you can see right here, they're pretty much pushing to go for this uh, quote unquote level five autonomy, which I'm assuming is just a little bit more advanced AI, a little bit more, I guess, decision making and programming. And obviously Elon Musk does not want to, you know, release this out to the public until it says like he is over 100% sure that these systems are capable of you know full self-driving autonomy because obviously the last thing you want is having some person put their tesla in autopilot and then the car like driving into a wall or something like that that would be a clash uh, class action lawsuit against uh, tesla and obviously if it happens to multiple people that would you know be terrible but tesla would definitely lose a lot of money for sure so this is one thing that definitely does fascinate me with Tesla's. So I read this little piece right here. It basically says one thing that cannot be shared. Those who pay roughly $8,000 for Tesla's full self-driving package cannot tra transfer the softer, software upgrade to a new Tesla. And it is tied to the original purchase. I'm assuming it's you know tied to the original vehicle. Now Elon Musk did say that it's not allowing this transfer. But as, according to this article... Tesla will offer subscriptions in the next few months. So that is definitely something that uh, intrigues me, but I'm not almost like, I'm not hundred percent sure what that is, but I'm assuming that it's literally, you know, a subscription where uh, let's say 
you have like an app or a video game or something like that and you subscribe to that and every month or every two months they come out with updates and uh, you know they work out bugs in their system and different things like that I'd have to assume that's pretty much what this would be except they're actually working out problems and in, you know increasing the self-driving autonomy or any other settings that might include with different types of Teslas. Now I know at the end here the article does mention the uh, Ford Mustang Mach-E and personally I am very interested to see how this Tesla Cybertruck and the Mustang Mach-E are going to compete. Now if you are subscribed to my channel and if you've seen some of my previous videos, uh, I, me personally I do own a Mustang, a, a 2008 Mustang. And obviously, I don't like the idea of putting the Mustang name and the Mustang badging on an electric SUV. But again, it's all for publicity. It's all for marketing reasons. It's just for Ford to sell units. And personally, with the amount of advertising that I've seen for that model, the amount of just you know people talking about it, uh, I do feel like it's definitely going to do very well. And again, with that vehicle as well, we're going to see them probably on the road, I believe in 2021. Okay, so yeah, I did just double check myself and apparently according to FordAuthority.com, um, the Mustang Mach-E deliveries are actually, they already started. Uh, me personally, I haven't actually seen one in a dealership or on the road yet, but I do feel like Ford is definitely going to sell a, a decent amount of those units and I really am interested to see how Tesla is going to compete with that because obviously the Cybertruck is definitely a decent amount more more money to you know purchase a Cybertruck uh, when compared to you know the Mustang Mach-E but then again I know a lot of people who are into trucks or you know are into Teslas and a lot of people are very hyped up to see this Cybertruck on public roads as well. So anyways, definitely let me know guys your opinions on the Cybertruck, the, I guess the Mustang Mach-E too, and also the uh, Tesla's like self-driving autonomy, uh, how they're trying to go basically full self-driving autonomy. You don't even have to drive the vehicle at all. Cause I know the current autopilot system, you still do have to drive it, but I think you can go into autopilot just on like highways. Correct me if I'm wrong again in the comments down below. But yeah, let me know your opinions on those different topics, what you guys think of it personally. Uh, I definitely don't like the self-driving autonomy. I would not uh, purchase a vehicle with that, at least for right now. I don't just think it's not really that proven. And personally, again, I do feel like the Cybertruck does look kind of ugly, but I feel like it does look futuristic and is kind of cool. And uh, you guys know how I feel about the Mustang Mach-E. I don't really like that as well. But again, that being said, let me know what you guys love or hate about this Cybertruck. And again, to reiterate, definitely be sure to subscribe down below. I post videos at least three times a week. I do vehicle reviews, modified car reviews, automotive news, uh, DIY videos, car show uh, vlogs, a bunch of different videos. So if you're into these sort of videos, definitely be sure to subscribe down below and obviously leave a like. It helps out a lot. But anyways, like always, guys, thank you for all the support and I'll see you guys in the next one.